everyone welcome back to Cuddy's bookshelf so today I as you've seen from the little bit of a clip that I put in I took a trip to Waterstones I went there had a day there it was lovely did some editing in the car spent my points card plus card points whatever um and picked up a few books and then I've also got some books that are pre-orders that came through the post so I will start with the books that I actually got from the shop and then I will carry on with the rest. So the first book I picked up was Axios XOXO. So I heard really good things about this. It's a love story between a girl and a, a lad from South Korea. He They have a night together, then he has to fly back home and then she finds out that he's like a K-pop artist so it goes from there really can't wait to pick this up love me some k-pop so the next book i picked up was bunny so this is by mona awood and this has got a lot of hype for being extremely weird and you like not knowing what's happening and stuff and it and it just sounded up my street and I know it's a lot of people's favourites and I want to see why and I am up for some freaky book reading. Next one I picked up was a Langley poetry. I don't think I'd go to Waterstones without picking up a Langley book and this is September Love. This one has been highly recommended to me and it is like one of her most popular and I haven't read it yet so cannot wait to get into that. The next one is one of my all-time favourite movies and for some reason I have just never read the book. How I have never read it I do not know but is Memoirs of a Geisha. I absolutely adore the film. It is one of my favourites like I've just said. I, I cannot wait, I cannot believe that I have actually not read this yet and... It's by Arthur Golden and it's just going to be a good time. I just noticed and it's one of those, you know, them like really floppy paperbacks that you just enjoy reading. And I just can't wait to read it. I really, really can't. If you have read this, because obviously it's been out for some time. If you have read this, let me know what you think of the book compared to the film. Because I do think that I'm going to read this pretty soon. And... I would love to know people's like comparisons before and after I've read it so the next one I picked up for some reason I thought that I'd pre-ordered this because it's a book that that even the cover just screams me and I've seen like loads of people getting um, proofs of it and stuff and I was like oh I can't wait for my edition to come and then it never came and I was like and then I looked on my orders and for some reason I didn't pre-order it. How? I don't know how. But it's Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Theories by Heather Fawcett. I have heard I have heard some like mixed reviews for this, but mainly positive. And I just really, really, really want to, oh sorry if it's glaring. I really, really want to read this. And I was gutted that oh Oh, again, it's one of those, no, those paper, those um, hardbacks where it's really floppy inside. It's the little things, isn't it? So while I was in Waterstones, I thought while the hardback is still available, I would pick it up. And it says, enter the world of forbidden folk and discover the most whimsical, enchanting and heartwarming tale you will read this year. Starring the intrepid Emily Wilde. Daphne. So the last book that I picked up on my trip to Waterstones was Orange, the manga, the new one that's just come out. So it's to you, dear one. And I'm really loving my reads of the Orange manga. I read the first one, absolutely adored it. The second one is on my TBR for this month and I'm going to get to that very, very soon. And the third and fourth one are a lot thinner. So I think once I read one, I'll probably end up reading them both. And I can't wait to read it. The first one is about a girl who receives a letter from herself 
10 years in the future and it is to warn her that a terrible fate is going to happen to someone that um, is starting their school that year and for her to try and change things. Uh, at first she thinks it's someone like having a joke with her and like it couldn't possibly be real but then things in the letter start to become true and she starts to believe it and it goes from there and I cannot wait! So the next book is The Maiden by Kate Foster. So this is a book about a woman who is accused of killing her lover and then as the trial's getting nearer there is some like evidence that comes to light that she might be innocent and it just sounds really really good love like a murder mystery type book and it is set in Edinburgh and I love Scotland so I mean those mm. the next two books are books that I already own but they have come out with new covers and that is House of Earth and Blood which I am currently rereading because I want to get to House of Sky and Breath because I have not yet read this one for some reason and I was just fancying some Sarah J Maas so I started reading this one, rereading this one, I'm, I think I'm about halfway through now and I really want to jump straight into this one. But yeah these are the new covers, I actually really like them. I mean I do have the, I think you can see it just there, the paperback of um, House of Earth and Blood the first time it came out and it's got like red sprayed edges so I think what I'm gonna do is because I will eventually reread these again I know what I'm like so what I'll do is I'll probably use this one to annotate when I reread them again 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 and yeah so Jay Moss you can't go wrong highly repent oh I better tell you what they're about aren't I so House on Earth and Blood is about a girl called Bryce who witnesses um, a terrible thing happen and two years later it happens again. So, so she gets assigned a fallen angel called Hunt Athala and swoon. It goes from there them trying to find out who did who did all the things that are, that's happening. So that's what they're about. And, Obviously, I can't tell you what the second one's about because spoilers for both me and you because I haven't read it yet. Uh, so the next book that came in the post was uh, Marianne Womack on the Nature of Magic. So this is about a woman, I think it's set in like 1902, who opens up a detective agency. It's giving me Enola Holmes vibes. <laughs> Not really. But um, so she opens up a detective agency and case that she gets um, unravels a lot of things to do with like the occult and stuff like that and I just thought it sounded really 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 good and I love this cover um, so there's that one the next one is Olivia Blake uh, one for my enemy I have got a few of their books but I am yet to read them so I'm, I'm wanting to read Atlas 6, that's what it's called. So I am wanting to read the Atlas 6 and the follow on to that first, but I did, I couldn't resist pre-ordering this gorgeous book. Yeah, oh, the end pages are nice. And there's the, the back end pages. So they're lovely. So, the general premise of this is, is two rival witch families that are fighting each other and to gain the upper hand on each other and I love me a witchy book and can't wait to get to this one. The next book that came was S.T. Gibson, The Diary of Blood. I've been wanting to read this for a while. I love the um, classic which is Dracula by Bram Stoker and this is a book told from Dracula's first wife so just give it me 
I'm like, I really want to read it soon, like I do with all of these. Jesus, I just need time. Um, but I'm thinking of waiting till um towards the end of the year. I suppose spooky season, but or just before that, just when the weather starts cooling down, I like to cozy up with a thing. And I always um reread Dracula in October, so it'd be a good pairing. Next up is Curse Crowned. This is by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. I have the first one, have not read it yet, but I feel like it's something that I will enjoy. It is about um two twins that have been cursed and I don't really know much more about it but the first one let me get it oh. twin crowns had these beautiful sprayed edges let me just hold it up properly and then oh, this one comes with incredible edges also so I do really want to get to these and they just look so beautiful next to each other. So I am looking forward to reading these. They sound very up my street. So the next two books are by the same author. And I have not read these. So the new one is The Maleficent Seven by Sebastian D. Castell. Um, I love Sebastian D. Castell's books. They was recommended to me by Jade from Jade Raid Reads. She recommends them to people all the time. And... Um, every time he get the e puts that he's bringing a new book out, I pre-order it. And this one is about wizards. Seven powerful mages want to make the world a better place, but we're going to kill them first. I love anything with like magic, wizardry, which is thing that I really love about Sebastian D. Castell's writing is there is always humour in it, and it's humour that I love. It's like um writ like banter between the characters and I just can't wait to get into that one and speaking of banter between characters is Tales of the Great Coats. Um I've read the entire um four in the series of The Great Coats which is on the back so that's good for me. <laughs> so it's Traitor's Blade, Night Shadow, Saint's Blood and Tyrant's Throne and these have the best like camaraderie, um, joking, banter and I just absolutely loved those books. So this is um, tales from their adventures and I can't wait to get into it because there's so many books that's come out and I can't wait to get, get to reading but there's so many books that I want to reread also, and they are high on my list to reread. And I think this will itch that craving of like needing to be back back with the characters. So I am extremely looking forward to getting into this one. The next book is my only middle grade of this haul, and it is AF Steedman's um Scander and the Phantom Rider. I this is a second one in the series and I am yet to read the first I did put it on I was planning on doing it on last month's TBR like adding it on but then everything went awry and stuff and I'm hoping to get to it really soon I keep looking that way because that's where it is um, I'm hoping to get to it really soon but I really wanted to get the Waterstones exclusive edition of the follow-on um, which has got the sprayed edges it's signed and under the dust jacket is absolutely stunning and the first one is just as stunning so the first one under the dust jacket again this is a signed sprayed edges the dust jacket's already coming off and then absolutely gorgeous under the dust jacket so i wasn't expecting any less of the second one um, I will read you what this one says because obviously the second one will be a bit of a spoiler. So it says, The island is calling. Scander Smith has only ever wanted to be a unicorn rider. I mean, I'd like to keep that go. Um, to be the one of the lucky few selected to hatch a unicorn, to bond with it for life, to train together and race for glory, to be a hero. 
But just as Skander's dream is about to come true, things take a more dangerous turn than he could ever have imagined. A dark, twisted enemy has stolen the island's most powerful unicorn. And as the threat goes ever closer, Skander uh, discovers a secret that could blow apart his world forever. And that is why I picked up the first one, because it sounds absolutely amazing. I want to be able to hatch a unicorn and ride one. So I had to get the follow up because I do think I'm really going to enjoy these. They are they have been um, Waterstones um, middle grade book of the year. I think this one was and I'm sure this one was Waterstones book of the month when it when it got released. And I can't wait for some middle grade fun. So the next book was a complete cover buy when I seen it online. It just looked very weird and wacky and I loved that. So it is Walking Practice by Dolky Min. And it says on the back, elegantly written and deceptively humorous, Dolky Min's bombastic debut novel, Walking Practice, is a haunting examination of survival, gender and the complexity of human experience. A tremendous literary achievement. It just sounded amazing after I seen the cover. I was like, I hope that sounds good. Read the synopsis of it and I was like, um, author is from South Korea and I really wanted to get more into some like translated fiction. So I picked up that one and I just love how weird the cover is. But speaking of weird and wacky, the next one is Ginger Eat Sue's tomes this is his newest one every time that i see that he's about to bring one out i pre-order it in months and months and months in advance i think i pre-ordered this when before his last two books had come out and i cannot wait to get to it ginger itsu is just the best horror manga author in my opinion i not like i've read much so I won't go on my opinion. He's really good though. Give it a go if you like um, horror. Some of them are um, more gory. Some of them are like sci-fi. Some of them are just bloody amazing. Try Jinjuritsu if you haven't. I know he's very popular. So if you're, you're into your manga, you've probably heard of him and read some of his books. But another one I can't wait to get to. The next one is a romance. I don't really like to read much on the romance thing, but I suppose I'm not going to be able to get to it for a little bit with how much I need to get to. But this is Emily Henry's new book, Happy Place. Love the like gradient, not gradient. What's it called? I love the blended edges anyway. And this is signed and I've heard a lot of good things about Emily Henry's books. I think this one's about a couple who broke up but then don't really tell anyone and then they keep up the facade for a little bit and it, I think it's something like along those lines but I just really wanted to try a Emily Henry book. I think I've got one. I think I've got Book Lovers um, but I still am yet to read that and um, I swear I've read books in my library. Every time I mention a book, I might haven't read it yet. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> ah. But Emily Henry, Happy Place. Last but not least is one that came just this morning, so I haven't opened it yet. I was hoping it was going to be this one. And it is volume three of Romantic Killer. I am loving this series. I am watching the anime also, but I am only watching the anime up to where I am in the books and I'm loving them both. So this is about a girl who has is obsessed with gaming, snacks and her cat. And as I always say, change the, the cat to a dog and then you have me. Just add books in there also. And then this um, magical creature comes along, takes all of those away from her and then forces her to be around boys, like hot guys, and wanting her to, to be in a romance, basically. And 
it is so good it is so good and i love one thing that i'll do a quick flick through because i don't want spoilers but um it's all in color so i really enjoy that and i can't wait to get to it so that is all of the books that i had pre-ordered and had been delivered and the books that i also picked up from waterstones when i went for my day there and i am extremely excited to put these on my shelves and start reading them i'm so excited I, I can't even pick a favorite because there's some that um have been out a long time and um i've heard so many things so many good things about them some of them's like from my favorite movies some manga that i can't wait to carry on with and i'm just really excited i'm really excited i love the whole videos they're my favorite <laughs> um so yeah if you have read any of these plan to read any of these um just want to generally chat about books if you've hauled some books recently let me know which ones if i need to jump on and buy them myself i hope this video has found you safe and well if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you um would like to see more from me please subscribe um i'd love to have you chat away on my videos and yeah take care and i'll see you hopefully in my next video bye so today i need to stop swiveling on my chair let's do that again ah it's starting off so well and oh, this is just not good from pre 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 orders footage i took a trip to 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 waterstones points card points club special card thing that you spend on the thing oh for frig's sake i will go through the books that i oh, wasp went past the window mm, not my friends uh, ugh, ugh. i just love k-pop anyway so we can all live our dreams that a member of BTS will come and find us, take us out for a whirlwind night and then, you know. Anyway, the first book I picked up, the thing that happened, no. The next book that got delivered was Twin Crown, Curse Crowns, Twins Crowns is the first one. Jesus, hi. Mm. Which is Twink, twin, Sebastian de Castle, um, la So, I will read them when I get the gift of more time. <laughs> Walking practice, what we uh, um, elegant, um, it, it says elegant, uh, ele why can't I speak today? Um, Heather Fawcett's Emily Wilde's Inks and the Lib Mimi Madu Badu. Enter the world of the, uh, um, no, H knows. Oh. Uh, from her t uh, la. I just love 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 I'm getting to calm down I just can't wait is arrested for the murderer the murderer <laughs> for God's sake uh. so the next one is the maidens by uh, the maiden maiden din 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 just one just one for for, um, no. and <laughs> do you know when you're reading a book and you you've got to talk about it but you can't do spoilers i find that so difficult because i'm just like did, did I, yeah and i just want to be like oh that part but anyway <sighs> oh, for god's sake could he get your crap together she gets assigned a fallen angel called on half half the lot she gets assigned a fallen angel called Un Hunt Athalar. Why can I not say those words? By C. It's S. T. Gibson. Why am I going? I literally. I have days where I can film and I'm like, easy to get them out. Then I have games, 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 see? Where I just can't talk. I did. I did. I did. I 
right, I'm gonna have to start this again because this is not happening today.